Are the Celtics or Bucks winning the series? Oh, the Boston Celtics is winning this series. The Boston Celtics is winning the Eastern Conference, and the Boston Celtics are winning the championship. But let me what? go back to why I say – you heard what I said. Let me go back to the point of why I say they're winning this series, okay? Jason Tatum has arrived. When you talk about superstardom, Jason Tatum is there. When you talk about one of the better two-way players in the game today, Jason Tatum is there. But I haven't seen a defense and I haven't seen Celtic pride like this since 2008. And we know what happened in 2008 when we saw a Celtic defense mm. like this one right here. Mm. They went on to win it all. Look, the one thing that I've noticed that the Celtics realized that they could do is that they could get into the teeth of the Milwaukee defense. They could get into the paint. That, that they could get down in the in the key and actually get to the free throw line. When I look at the Celtics all across the board, Big Al Horford, who has been one of the Celtics' most consistent players all season long, even when they was going through the rough patch, his versatility, when he's out there on the floor, on offensive end, being able to stretch the floor to give Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown room to work, and then Marcus Smart is out there causing havoc, guarding Drew Holiday, making, him, making things miserable for him, being the defensive player of the year that he is. And then I look at E. May Udoka, a guy that got the attention of that locker room, a coach that is not trying to be their friends, but are trying to hold them accountable. I'm watching them call timeouts and getting to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and getting on them about blown coverages. And I'm saying, you know what? This is a championship caliber team with a championship caliber <clears throat> coach. They're winning this series. Well, let me interject just for one quick second before I give it to you. That last point really threw me off. I wouldn't accuse Mike Budenholzer of somebody who's trying to be friends with the players. Yes. I didn't say that. I didn't All right. say I'm that. just saying, I mean, Udoka's you you not doing no, it either, but no, I mean. No, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't. I, I, I went solely with the Boston Celtics. Don't put got words it. in my mouth. I said I that you. I love a coach that holds his superstars accountable. That's what Ime Udoka is doing. I didn't say a word about Mike Budenholzer. Okay. All right, here's where I'm at on this. It's a shame. I feel I feel bad one of these teams is going to lose this series because I think whoever wins it's going to the finals. So and, do I. And so I feel – to me it's razor thin between the two teams. And I, I, I'm feeling – today I'm feeling like the tone of, of everything associated with this series is, oh, it's over. Bucks can't beat the Celtics. I picked the Bucks to win the series. I'm staying with the pick. Because mm -hmm. I went back and started looking at these games. All right, Game one. The Milwaukee Bucks led the last 33 minutes of the game. Game two, all right, got smacked. Nothing you can say about that. Game three, all but one minute of the last 20 minutes of the game, the Milwaukee Bucks led. Last night, they led by 10 in the third quarter. I'm looking at this team and I'm saying, if Drew Holiday can find any rhythm at some point, and look, some people are saying, well, it's the reason he's not playing well is strictly because of the defense, and so you're, he's not going to play well because they're going to continue to do that to him. But I also say, listen, Drew Holiday is a guy that showed up in a big way on a championship team, so there's something more there that he has in this series. He's going to interject himself offensively at some point. I also look at a guy like Bobby Portis. Averaged 15 points a game on the previous five. Then the last two, 13 total. Bobby Portis has to show up. Now, look, if those guys don't, they can't win. My faith is in the greatness of Giannis Antetokounmpo, the psychological and mental toughness, and the fact that they have been in control for large portions of three of these four games in the second half of these games. Now, Giannis got gas last game. That can't continue to happen. But my faith is with him. I think the Celtics are a great team, too. I'm not going to be shocked no matter who wins this series. But I think the, it's just weird to me that the tone, Stephen A., to me is people are starting to act like this series is over. 2-2, two, two, going back to Boston. Like, Bucks don't have a chance to win this series. I just don't get where that's coming from when you really look at the data and the fact that there's more, I think, with that Milwaukee has not shown offensively in this series than Boston. Tate has been pretty damn good. Horford's been great. Drew Holiday has not played very well, and neither has Portis. Well, I agree with you from the standpoint that this series isn't over, and for people to write Milwaukee off, it would be a mistake. I agree with you on that, because they are more than capable of going on the road anywhere and winning as long as they got Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is just a fact, okay? Having said all of that, 
I got the Boston Celtics winning this series in seven games. I'm not jumping off that ship. That was my prediction at the start of this series. It's my prediction now. All right? They split the first four games like I knew they would. I predict that Boston will win game five tonight in Boston, even though there is some trepidation now that I'm hearing about Robin Williams being injured because I think that if he doesn't play, that's a big loss for them. And I think that puts Boston in a dicey situation. He helps you immensely. Having said all of that, I'm still going with Boston to win game five. I believe they will lose game six, and I believe they will come back and they will close the deal out in a game seven in a thriller. It'll come down to the wire, but whether it's Jalen Brown, whether it's Al Horford, whether it's Marcus Smart or Jason Tatum or somebody, they will find a way at TD Bank Garden to pull this out and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. I just oh. believe that because I think that overall – they gonna, they're going to make shots when it counts. I'm not so sure about that with Milwaukee. Peconiton has played well. He can make shots. I expected more from Grayson Allen. He's no Middleton, but I still expected more from him. I ain't getting that from him right now. Drew Holiday is putting up numbers, but the inefficiency is flagrant. That has to improve, which I think it will, and it'll be enough for them to push this to a seven-game series, but Boston is winning this in seven in my estimation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.